wedding nowadays is not cheap. It is very expensive. Again, very expensive. me Jaya and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new so for today's video I'm going to share with you my top realizations when I got engaged so this video is not just for those who are recently got engaged but also for the single ladies out there and for those women who feel like uh, they're going to get engaged very soon so I hope my video will help you in figuring out things because everything is not easy. Everything is not easy. And parang idea lang before, you know, when I got engaged, it would be like this, it would be like that. But it's totally different from what you are thinking. Alright, so now I'm going to share with you my personal tips and realizations during my engagement season. So if you don't know, I just recently got engaged last December 28th. Uh, hi, B. Charlotte. Okay, so I just recently got engaged last year. So by this month, it will be our six months together. So it's really hard, especially na COVID recently popped in, diba. Right? So, and we did not expect this to happen, really. And now, let's begin. For my first realization, I realized that finances will always be involved. So, it is not true on what people used to tell us before or what, or what we uh, used to hear before from the oldies. Charot. Na bahalag saging basta loving. Excuse me. Because that does not apply in this generation right now. So again, money will always be involved guys because wedding planning or wedding nowadays is not cheap. It is very expensive. Again, very expensive. Okay? So there's a lot of things to consider and according to my cousin Chiki, okay, she told me na um, lack of money da is the root of all our eyes. So this can be true, right? So it means that we need to prepare not just on the engagement but also for our wedding. And of course, we're not just going to prepare anyway for our wedding but also for our marriage. But this time, uh, we need to prepare muna for our wedding. <laughs> okay? So, ayun. Uh, we really need to prepare for everything. So as an advice for the couples out there who are really serious in their relationship, I suggest na every month take something from your own pocket and try to save it na anytime you're going to get engaged at least may madukot kayo na pair from your pocket and because i realized kasi na it's really hard that if you're going to start saving only after you got engaged na parang literally zero kayo from the from the scratch kayo ng dalawa so that's just my personal advice because that came from my personal experience as well and then for ladies out there who got jobs Guys, we are strong, independent women, diba? So we don't want to, rel to rely only sa mga partners nato. So we need to prepare as well, or at least uh, instead of buying new makeup every month, makeup to every month, or instead of buying new pair of shoes every month, try at least to keep at least 500 pesos man lang. So that's the time that you're going to get engaged. Um, we'll have something as well to spend for your wedding planning. And like, as, of course, aside from your monthly na save for your wedding day. So, yeah, so that's my tip number one. Personal realizations number two. Okay, so aside from preparing ourselves emotionally, we need also to prepare ourselves physically. Why physically? It's because we don't know that after getting married, we're going to conceive after two months or three months, in three months' time. So, we need to take care of our health we need to eat healthy food daw mo diet na daw not really diet but uh, having a healthy diet is very good and then what else um again financially emotionally mentally because mental health is very important you know especially if medyo burnt out ka of other things so that's why we need to clear our, our thoughts and we need to prepare it especially if we're planning to get married and then the most important thing is we need to prepare ourselves spiritually because again spiritual it will be the foundation of your marriage of our marriage and then uh, this is the most neglected among all 
we need to invest also praying uh, not just for our spouse not just for our marriage but then also for our future kids because it's really hard to raise kids right now especially the world is so corrupted and we don't know what will happen tomorrow personal realizations number three communication is the key again communication is very important especially if you're going to start doing the planning so you need to communicate well with your partner if he agrees or not because sometimes ladies parang, okay we're just going to do the planning alone then okay he's just going to agree but then again we need to remember that it is not just our wedding but it is our wedding together right so communication is very important because behind the man uh, when you uh, purchase this supplier we need or you're going to buy something and then mashak na lang si partner oh my god why did you purchase that it's very expensive so again communication is very important especially in the season if you feel something bad or if you doubted on something it's good to open up to one another because this time you have one another to share your thoughts or to, or to share your feelings with so for my personal realizations number four so i realize that we just need to enjoy the process it might be hard especially the situation right now in this pandemic you know so i feel bad for those um, couples who prepared a lot uh, who were hit by the situation but anyway congratulations for you guys love will always find a way shout out Okay, so we need to enjoy the process. We need to enjoy the process of the planning. We need to go out and seek people's advice. Um, no, ma ate ma kuya who recently got engaged. We need to ask them. Na, hey, what about this one? What about that? Because believe me, they can really, really help us a lot. And then again, enjoy the process. Enjoy the process of being together as well with your friends. Say, because. Uh, being engaged is di really different now when you are going to get married so i guess this time would be the best time for us to get to know one another deeper for my fifth realization i realized now we need to prepare not just on our wedding day but also for our marriage because mar wedding day is only one day right then marriage uh, will take us a lifetime so we need to make plans we need to make decisions right now as early as now na. okay how much should i give to my family after getting engaged after getting married how much should we uh, spend for this one how much kids how much kids, <laughs> how many kids are we going to have so a lot a lot of things so what would be our investment what would be our agreement so it's good as well to prepare for that one all right i guess that's it so again we need to be reminded that he's the jehovah jireh is going to provide for everything and then as what my coordinator told me as well that in every wedding god always performs his miracles so i cannot wait to witness a miracle as well on my wedding day so again we need to invest this time um in prayers so praying for our marriage praying for our for our future kids and for our future plans as well so if you have any advices Please let me know because I am very much welcome uh, to hear those advices from you guys. So if there's anything as well that I can help you, please let me know and let's try to help one another because women empower women. Yes, okay? So thank you for watching. So don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thank you! Before I end this video, shout out Allah.